linebacker Mike Weidman. At cornerback today, Torrance Forney. In the defensive backfield with Forney, Johnson. Lester Smith, Dietrich Cummings, the punter, will be Eric Willingham. Now for the home team, as both teams are arriving on the field at this moment. First uh, on defense for the Razorbacks, Rayleigh Johnson, number 99. At uh, one defensive tackle position, number 80, Scott Long. At nose guard, number 91, Owen Kelly. At defensive end, and he's a good one, number 92, Henry Ford, 6'3", 260, a junior. At one linebacker position, number 47, Tyrone Chapman. The middle linebacker today, number 57, Kevin Kemp. At weak side linebacker, number 16, Darwin Ireland, 90 tackles in 1991, one of their leading returning tacklers. In the defensive backfield for the Razorbacks, number three, Orlando Waters. A lot of speed in the defensive backfield for Arkansas. Number 29 is the strong safety, Alfred Jackson. The free safety is Gary Adams. The other cornerback is number 10, Dean Peavy. And the kicker for the Razorbacks, number 11, Todd Wright. He's got 205 career points, one of their leading scorers of all time on the Arkansas ledger. Meanwhile, meanwhile tapes roll. All right, guys, let's do it. We're going to miss the kickoff. I swear to God. they got to wait for the clock to run down. All right, so we just bought ourselves a it's little gonna time. It's going to be just about right, guys. It's going to be close. Yeah, it's going to be tight. Ten seconds. All right, we're ready. Five. We're ready for the kickoff, and there it is, Jeff Trent kicking it to the near sideline at the six. Up to the 10 is Arkansas with the ball. They get to the 20, to the 25, 30, 35, knocked out of bounds at the 40-yard line. Gene Stewart out of Surfside Beach, South Carolina. The uh, receiver came down the right side. A couple of Bulldogs had a chance at him early, but uh, missed, and then Stewart with a final tackle. So Arkansas will start it off just the way they want to show off their brand-new offense, their one-back offense. Up to the line is Jason Allen, the quarterback. He's got a man split wide each side. He's going to fake to the deep back, throw to the right side. It is complete on the right side to Kirk Botkin. He is tackled. He's got uh, about six, they say now, so it's second down and four to go. Arkansas, the one-back offense. A man split wide each side. Got two tight ends and a one-back offense. Again, Allen sets him down. Allen this time does give the ball to E.D. Jackson. Jackson breaks to the line. He's in the Citadel territory as he gets to the... E.D. Jackson, the ball carrier, the E and the D stand for extremely dangerous, they tell us. They've got a man wide to the right, a man in the slot on the right side. Allen sets him down, the one back Jackson. Back to block, back to passes Allen over the middle, complete, incomplete. He had it and dropped it at tested here, and this is the big question mark for this 92 team. And uh, the defensive backs playing back a little bit, giving them the short stuff. And time is called, and we've got a timeout charged to the Citadel. Five seconds. All right, after the timeout, Arkansas up to the line. Allen will set him down. Got a man split wide to each side, two tight ends and a one back. He'll give it to Jackson. Jackson cuts to the right, back to the left, gets across the Citadel 40 yard. Becker, Robbie Briggs. Let's pause 10 seconds so the stations can identify themselves along the Citadel Sports Network. Five seconds. Arkansas up to the line, and a low snap, fumble ball, who's on top of it, might be the Citadel. Let's see what the officials call. They come out of the punt. Shotgun position, so the ball, the snap was a little bit low, and now you've got the punter on, and hey, let's give it to the Bulldog defense. They hung tough there after the big gain by Jackson. Pete Rather, third in the nation in punting last year on the punt. He's standing at the Razorback 45-yard line. There's the snap, no rush. There's the punt, Lester Smith deking out the defense and the ball will hit at the 10 and will be touched at the four. So the Bulldogs have four. In terms of yards uh, per kick, 43.6, he may be the best in the nation right on the five. And for the first uh, Bulldog offensive possession, they're deep, deep in their own territory. The Citadel huddling in their own defense comes out. Jack Douglas will set him down, a bone in the backfield. Got a man, excuse me, two tight end formation. Douglas sets him down on the far side hash mark. It fakes, cuts behind a block, jumps over one man, gets to the 10-yard line. And he actually got some nice yardage on that play. So it is second down, and the Bulldogs have about five yards to go. They give them five on the play of the ball, nose of the ball, just shy of the 10-yard line. 
Again, Douglas will set him down. One man split wide right. Tight end on the right side. They'll fake. Cutting up behind the fullback is Jack Douglas. He gets across the fifth. Their own 19-yard line as the Bulldogs are moving from right to left. They're in their road white uniforms, blue numerals. Douglas sets him down in the middle of the field. Bone in the backfield. This time he will give to Everett Sands. Sands gets across the 20 to the 20. Ford. He's got a very popular name, 6'3", 260. We understand he's a real player. So the Bulldogs break the huddle. Wide to the left comes Cornell Caldwell. You got a tight end on the left side, a bone in the backfield, ball near the far side hash mark. Douglas fakes, gets caught up in a fake, cuts right, cuts left, he gets hit, 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 and he's dropped for a loss. 18, so the Bulldogs have a third down and about 11 to go. Four first down, 10-14 remaining in the first period, no score. The Bulldogs on defense held the Razorbacks, made them punt. Bulldogs with the ball now. Douglas sets him down, middle of the field. Fakes to the fullback, rolls to the right side, cuts up into a seam, gets to the 21. Maybe time as the Razorback fans are standing up and cheering for the defense. Willingham back to punt, standing on the Citadel seven-yard line. Waters is deep for Arkansas. There's a good snap. And Willingham puts a high, spiraling kick. That's going to go to the 20-yard line. Waters drops it. He falls down. Now he's up, picks it at the five. He's going to get hit at the four, at the three, and he's down. Arkansas deep in their own territory after a tremendous shoulder. And when he did, he fumbled it. He fell down. The ball kept rolling towards the They would be 6 nothing Bulldogs. But the Razorbacks have it on their own three. They go to an eye formation in the backfield. Got a man split wide to the left. Allen gives to the deep man, Jackson. He cuts through, crosses the 10, burst his way down. Deep position to make the tackle, and a good tackle it was. If he didn't, Jackson would still be running now. First down for Arkansas on their own 13-yard line. Again, they line up in an eye formation. The two backs go in motion at the same time. The Citadel jumps off, and there are flags on the play. We'll see what the call is. Looked like the left side of Arkansas's offensive line jumped. And what that led the Bulldogs to do was jump as well, and they are going to call an illegal procedure on Arkansas. And back them up five. That'll back them up. All right, Alabama in the third quarter leads foul 21-0 in the second. Colorado leads Colorado State 7-0. Clemson leads Ball State in the third period 10-7. They set him down. Allen gives to Jackson deep in the backfield. He gets across the 10 to the 11, and he is nailed. That's what you have to do. To this kind of a running back, you have to catch him before he really starts going. And we weren't sure whether or not Jim Wilson would be starting today, but he did get the starting nod. Second down, 12 yards to go for Arkansas. They'll go with a one-back set this time. Jackson, the only back. Allen sets him down. He fakes to Jackson, rolls to his right, wants to pass, lets it go into the flats, complete at the 16-yard line to Kirk Botkin. up, wanting to be a Razorback. So for Botkin, this is a dream come true. It's a first down for the Razorbacks. No score, or check that, I'm sorry, third down and six to go. The ball is on the Razorbacks' 17-yard line, third and six. They go with a man in the slot on the right side. Allen dropping straight back to pass. Let's it go to the man out of the backfield who was in the slot position. It's complete at the 21. He fights his way to the 23. They're gonna punt it away. Pete Rather, again, to punt. This will be his second one of the afternoon. He's standing at his own nine-yard line. Lester Smith back deep to receive for the Citadel Bulldogs. There's the snap, no rush. There's the punt, a high, high, high spiraling kick. Fair catch signaled at the 30 by Lester Smith, and the Bulldogs start off with missions in two Bulldog stands. And of course, that one helped by the long and booming punt of Eric 1992. And let me correct myself, Dan Johnson was the man back to receive that punt. So the Bulldogs are up to the line. They've got a bone formation, boat right wide to the right. Got a tight end on the left side. And I don't know what they're holding things up for. Oh, they're moving the chains, I guess. Okay, now we're set to go. First and 10 for, our, for the Citadel from their own 30-yard line. Douglas will set them down. Unbalanced line to the left. Douglas fakes to the right, gives it, I should say, up the middle to Everett Sand. Nice play, but gained a couple of yards, two, three yards for the Bulldogs. I tell you what, Everett Sands makes that Citadel uniform look good. He's chiseled out of stone. He's got the kind of body most athletes would kill for. As a matter of fact, Sands is benching 405 pounds now in Jim Peel's weight room. They set him down. Got a man split wide to the left. Douglas looking over the line. 
fakes, rolls to the right, gets around one man, cuts it up, fumbles the ball, it's loose on the turf, and I think Arkansas has it. They do. All on the ground, but it looks like it was number 92. That would be the end. Line. That uh, outside linebacker and that defensive end on the left side of Arkansas's line, uh, Rob, is really doing an excellent job of containing Douglas on those sweeps and making him cut back in when he really doesn't have a seam. Arkansas will split two men out. Got a tight end on the right side. Jackson deep in the backfield. They'll hand it off to him. He goes around one block, gets across the 40 to the 43-yard line before he's brought down there. Only chance. A little, looks like a leg injury to uh, Jim Wilson. 5.48 remaining in the first period, no score. Arkansas with the ball on the Bulldogs. 38-yard line. Allen will set him down. A man split wide. Again, to give it to Jackson. He is knocked down as he gets just across. Of you. I guess so. Up to the line comes Arkansas. They got a man in the slot on the right side. They got Ron Dickerson, the son of the Clemson defensive coordinator, wide to the right. It's a pass, and it's batted down at the line of scrimmage by the Citadel Bulldogs. Looks like Jake Earhart got another fourth down for Arkansas. So the Citadel again going to force Arkansas to punt it away again. Pete Rayner. Now this guy can punt, ladies and gentlemen. He's got hang time as high as the stadium. He's done it twice. Let's see what happens here. Watch it, though. Jackson is the up man. They may try a fake here. The ball, though, will be snapped to Rayner, the punter. He gets it up. Nice hang time. Looks like he's gone for a ball on the 10. It takes a Bulldog bounce back to the 14. So the Citadel will 14. Rayther with another little pooch kick that goes on the artificial turf. Douglas brings him up to the line. Got a man split wide to the left. A tight end on the left side. Douglas sets him down now that the official gets out of the way. Linebacker moves up on the line for Arkansas on the right side. Douglas calling out the signals. Fakes to the fullback, comes to the left side, pitches it out to Andre Mitchum. Mitchum. Turns the corner, gets to the 20-inch. So it is second down and about five yards to go for the Citadel. Andre Mitchum, of course, getting his first start at the uh, Citadel. He's starting, of course, because of the terrible tragedy that occurred in Eric Little's family. We'll tell you more about that in a moment. Wide to the right goes Caldwell. Got a tight end on the right side. Bone in the backfield. Near side hash mark. Douglas gets it. Turns, comes to the left side. Gets around a block and rolled out of bounds at the 22. Closing speed. You may see a seam, but before you know it, it's gone. And that happened that time with Kevin Kemp. Douglas got that ball out from underneath center, turned to his right, and turned all the way around going to his left. Wide to the right goes Caldwell. He got a tight end on the left side. They fake back to pass is Douglas. He's looking to the left side. It is complete at the 25-yard line. A first down for the Citadel Bulldogs and his staff. No score yet. 3:19 remaining in the first period. It's been a very even ball game. Both ball clubs kind of feeling one another out here before they actually get down to business. Bulldogs will send a man wide to the right. Cornell Caldwell. They got a tight end on the right side. Ball in the backfield. Ball on the near side hash mark. Douglas looking over the defense. Gives it up the middle to Little. Little turns, spins, gets knocked down, bounces back up, keeps his balance with his hand. All right, so the Bulldogs have it second down and about five yards to go. The ball is on the Citadel 31-yard line. Wide to the right goes Damon Boatwright. The Bulldogs send a tight end on the right side to Marty Fagan. Bone in the backfield, ball near the near side hash mark. Douglas again looking to the right. Goes to the right side, gives it off to Little. Little cracks around one tackler and gets closed. On his defensive line, 6'2", 265 on the offensive line for the Citadel. And for Arkansas, their defensive line is 6'2", 245. So they actually outweigh them by about 20 pounds. Third down, three yards to go for the Citadel. Two tight end formation, bone in the backfield, ball on the far side, hash mark. Douglas. Fakes, rolls to the right. He's got the first down and then some. He's at the 45, 46, 47 yard line. Back there along with PB. Nice play by number 10 for the Razorbacks. Here comes Caldwell wide to the left. They got a tight end on the right side. Bone in the backfield, ball on the far side, hash mark. Douglas sets him down. Fakes, rolls to the left side. Cuts behind a block across the 50 into. And Jackson was in the neighborhood to get credit for the tackle. First time the Citadel has been in Razorback territory today. 55 seconds left. We're under a minute left to go in the first quarter. No score from Fayetteville, Arkansas and Razorback Stadium. Second down, six yards to go for the Citadel. Man split wide to the right. Tight end on the left side. 
Douglas turns, gets a block, gets around one man, gets hit, and knocked down immediately. They're really high on this guy. They'll mark his knee down at the original line of scrimmage. Third down, five yards to go now, maybe six. Close enough to say six. Ted, more clouds moving in. That's good news for the Citadel because it certainly was very hot on the field as we started this ball game. Third down, six yards to go. Man split left. Douglas wants the pass. He's got pressure from the backside, and he completes a pass to Marty Fagan. The left side, he was split wide left, just ran straight across the middle and was hit as Douglas completed the pass, and the quarter comes to an end. Bulldogs have the ball, first and 10 from the Arkansas. 34 yard line. Caldwell wide to the left, tight end on the left side, ball on the near side, hash mark, Douglas sets him down, gives it to Little. He cuts to the right, cuts to the left, picks up about two yards. Opened up for the uh, fullback, Everett Sands, as he got some daylight, gained a couple of yards. Well, Bulldog fans can breathe a small sigh of relief. We got through the first quarter without giving up any points, but we didn't get any either. Unbalanced line left, got a man wide to the right. Tight end on the left side, Douglas sets him down. Middle of the field, long count, fakes, gives it to Mitchum who fumbles but falls on it. No gain, but we did keep the ball. Fell on it, uh, no turnover in terms of uh, for the Arkansas Razorbacks that time. Boatwright checks in, Caldwell goes out. Here comes Boatwright to the wide to the right side. Got a tight end on the left side. Ball in the middle of the field. Bone in the backfield, Douglas sets him down. Looks left, looks right. Long count, gets the ball, fakes to the fullback, goes to the left, pitches it to Mitchum. He gets to the 30, and he is knocked down. The ball rolls out of bounds, and it's out of bounds up to kick it for the Bulldogs. And back is Orlando Walters, who didn't do too good of a job fielding the last punt. Dan Peavy also back there. Willingham set the kick, standing at the Bulldogs 40, excuse me, at the Bulldog 44-yard line. Long, 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 long count. Now they break out of that formation, split two men out. Willingham still waiting, trying to draw Arkansas offside. I'm sure they're gonna get hit with a delay of game penalty. And they do. Well, they tried everything they possibly could by moving the uh, outs, the ends, out to the side, trying to get Arkansas to jump. Obviously, this is a game when you see a lot of mistakes, but Arkansas was very composed there. Lots of, uh, you know, just basically did not jump. And the bottom line is, move it back five yards. Waters and Peavy set to receive for Arkansas. Actually, Waters is the deep man. He's standing on the Arkansas 10. Willingham at the 49-yard line now gets a good snap. Very little rush. Hangs one up, and it will hit at the 10 and be down by the Citadel Bulldogs at the 4-yard line. So for the second possession, was Aaron Self, and so far the stars of this potential. Hunter's really getting a workout here. Arkansas band cranking up on the far sidelines, which, by the way, is where the Citadel Bulldogs are. They are directly across from our booth at the left end of the field, in the north end of the field. All right, down. Allen will set him with a two-back offense. They give it to Jackson deep in the eye. He gets out across the 15 to the 20 to the 25, 26-yard line. Four now they've got it on their 25-yard line. They'll split a man wide to each side. They got Jackson, the only running back in the backfield. Allen sets him down. He fakes to Jackson, wants to pass, looks down the left sideline, but overthrows everybody at the Bulldog 40 kickoff at Johnson Haygood Stadium. Arkansas out of the huddle. They'll split two men wide to the right. A one back offense. They've got a slot on the right side. Jackson gets the ball deep in the uh, backfield, goes to the left side and fought it off and made the tackle as he moved E.D. Jackson towards the inside. So the ball is at the 27 of Arkansas. Again, they'll go with two men split wide to the right, one wide left. They've got a man in the backfield who's standing right next to the quarterback, Allen. Allen gets it, wants to pass, looks to the right, lets it go over the middle, incomplete, a tremendous defensive play by the Bulldogs. No, he was right there. And now it looks like Arkansas, Pete Rather, is back on the field to punt one more time. Trust me. Even if I were the Razorback play-by-play -play guy, the ball and Forney got there, boom, at the same time. Great play. Back deep to receive for the Citadel Bulldogs. To receive the kick, Dan Johnson. He's standing at the Citadel Bulldogs 27-yard line. Rather standing at the 14. Short hops the snap. A low snap, but a high spiraling punt. 
that will hit at the 20 and go out of bounds. So the Citadel will put it in. Almost like a shortstop, had to feel that short hop, picked it up and kicked it a long, long way. Dan. And your favorite charge card, you'll never miss a game. The cost for you to listen to an entire game is about $40. Don't forget the number, 1-800-225-5321. The Citadel with the ball. First and 10. On their own, well, they mark it actually at the 18 now. Douglas fakes to the fullback, comes to the left side, cuts up, gets to the 25-yard line before he is smashed to the turf. Four yards to go. A man split wide to each side for the Citadel. Bone in the backfield, ball on the far side, hash mark. Douglas sets him down, looking over the four-man front. Fakes to the fullback, comes to the right side, pitches it to Sims. Sims gets to the 30, 35, up to the 40. He's got a block at the 45, to the 50, into Arkansas territories. He gets knocked out of bounds. For a first down, and the Bulldog fans are standing. They are pumped up. Cedric Sims, a great run there. Caldwell, wide left. Tight end on the right side, Marty Fagan, ball, a bone in the backfield, ball on the near side, hash mark. Douglas on a quick look and pass, complete across the left side to Marty. Just spun around and hit him right across the uh, letters. Great play by Caldwell. Boat right in, Caldwell out. They're high five at him on the far sidelines. Boat right wide to the left. You got a tight end on the right side and Marty Fagan. Douglas sets him down, ball in the middle of the field. Bone in the backfield, Douglas looking over a five man defensive front. Gives it this time. On the left side, hands it off. I think is a little bit surprised. They will mark Terrence Rivers forward progress to the 36-yard line, and that gives the Citadel another first down. 9.55 remaining in the first half of play. No score here from Fayetteville, Arkansas. Two tight end formation. Man split wide to the left. They will fake to Jervy, the fullback. Pitch this one to Rivers. He turns the corner at the 30 to the 29, where he is wrapped up by four or five. Our graduate of the class of 88, listening up in Florence. And a special hello to Carolyn Hughes. And I know it's really killing Carolyn that she's not here. She's at home in Charleston recuperating. Got men split wide to each side. Bone in the backfield, ball on the near side, hash mark. Fake to Jervy. Douglas looks, wants to pitch, keeps it, cuts up, and gets to about the 27-yard line. Maybe to Fayetteville, South Carolina, too, but and a Fayetteville, North Carolina. They're all over the place. But needless to say, the Bulldogs are a little short of a first down. So it's third down and about a yard and a half to go for a Citadel first down, and a timeout is called. So we'll tell here in the first half. No score, but the Bulldogs are on the move. They've got the football. They've got third down and about a yard to go. A man split wide each side, bone in the backfield, ball on the far side, hash mark. Douglas fakes to Jervy. No, he gives it to him. He's across the line of scrimmage. Over to the 20, down to the 19 when Jervy is brought. Image recently with over 100 yards, so he is a player out of Wando High School playing today. We had the pleasure of uh, sitting and having dinner last night with his parents. What lovely, lovely people, and uh, I tell you what, they're very happy that he is here at uh, the Citadel. A man split wide to each side. They fake the Jervy, pitch this time a little, turns the corner at the 20, across the 15 before he's knocked out of bounds. Are doing what they did at the end of last year and moving the football. So as they knock him out of bounds, that stops the clock with 7.53 remaining in the first half. Boat right, wide to the right side. Tight end on the left side. Bone in the backfield, ball on the far side, hash mark. Douglas sets him down, looking at a five-man front. Gives it again to Little. Little falls forward to the 10-yard line. He might be just a short. A sh Johnson, but the Bulldogs a very, very short yardage for the first down. Citadel inches away, inches away. Not even the length of a football away. Third down. The ball just shy of the 10-yard line. Douglas gives it to Jervy. Crosses the 10, cracks to the eight. First down, Bulldogs. Right now, Ted, the only folks seeing red in the stadium are the Arkansas Razorback fans as they are really, really surprised, I'm sure, at how strong the Bulldogs are up front, how they're moving the football. They did not take them lightly. Certainly, they've had trouble in the path, past with what they called uh, patsy games. Uh, last year was southwestern Louisiana, and right now the Bulldogs are showing them something. Bulldog faithful on their feet across the way. Razorback fans are sitting, but they are being very vocal. First and 10 from the nine of Arkansas. The Citadel with the ball. Two tight end formation, ball on the far side, hash mark. Douglas fakes to Jervy. Pitches at the last minute to Andre Mitchum. Mitchum tiptoes down the far sideline and out of bounds at, uh, where are they gonna mark him, at the 10? 
Nice balance that time by the uh, running back, Mitchum, number 42, but a good play also by the end, Henry Ford, who had a lot of uh, containment on Jack, forcing him to pitch maybe a little earlier than he wanted to, and what that allowed the defense to catch up and kind of kind of box Mitchum in to go to the sideline. So it's uh, second down and goal to go for the Citadel Bulldogs with 6.41 remaining. Wide to the left goes Marty Fagan. Boat right, wide right. They give the ball to Jeremy. He cracks back to the eight before he's knocked down. So the Citadel with the ball, third down. They marked his knee down at the nine, so we said he had gotten to the eight. It's third down, nine yards to go for a score. Boat right will come wide to the right. Fagan, wide to the left. Bone in the backfield. Douglas fakes, rolls to his right. He's got a block. He fumbles the ball. It's on the turf. Bulldogs recover. He had gotten to the six, fumbled the ball. Stadium. Terrence Rivers was the injured Bulldog down on the uh, field, but he's up walking under his own power. All right, so the Citadel will try to get on the board via the toe of Jeff Trent. Jeff, the young man out of Charleston, out of Stahl High School. The ball will be spotted at the 16-yard line. It'll be a 26-yard field goal for Jeff Trent. There's a snap, it's down, the kick is up, and it is no good. Wide to the left, no good. Shot, the ball was on the far side hash mark, excuse me, on the near side hash mark. To the left goal post and the upright, and well, a lot of pressure for that young man. He's a freshman, you may have heard about the kicking problems uh, with Robert Averett deciding not to come back to the Citadel and Trent stepping in, and he's kicked well in practice, but obviously not in a game, and that was his first try. Up to the line comes Arkansas. Allen gets the ball, gives it to Jackson, deep in the backfield, trips across the 23-yard line, falls forward to about the bench coach Charlie Taft, walked over to him, patted him on the back, said don't worry about it, and uh, Charlie says the nice thing about Jeff Trent is he doesn't have a typical kicker's mentality, which I guess is good, <laughs> and let's hope that Jeff can recover from that. Arkansas up to the line. Two men split wide to each side. They give it to Jackson deep in the backfield. He gets to the line of scrimmage and grinds out about two more yards. Close to the... Just staying right behind. Mikey Young coming in, kind of a submarine tackle that time, knocking Jackson off of his feet. So it's third down and about a yard to go for the Razorbacks of Arkansas. Ron Dickerson, the son of Ron Dickerson, the uh, defensive coordinator Clemson, comes wide to the left. They got a tight end formation on the right. They give it to Jackson again in the backfield. He gets across the 30 to the 31 yard line. It's a first down for Arkansas. By the Bulldogs so far, and just keep in mind the last loss for the Razorbacks was to the Bulldogs, the Georgia Bulldogs in the Independence Bowl last year. So let's see if we can keep that trend going. Up to the line comes Arkansas. Ball on the far side hash mark. A man split wide to each side. Allen rolls to his right, gives it to Jackson, cuts back to his left, and his knee goes down at the 30-yard line. A loss of one on the play. E.D. Jackson. So there's 3.25, clock running here in the first half, left to go. No score. The Bulldogs had a shot with a field goal that went just to the left. So now Arkansas with the ball on their own 30-yard line, second and 10 to go. Again, Allen rolling to his left. He wants to pass. He's going to tuck it in and run and get knocked down at the 35-yard line. And the Bulldogs. Through Smith, Allen just tucked it under, and Garrett Sizer, nice speed to catch up. Ball on the near side, hash mark with 2.40 remaining. They'll send trips formation to the right side. Actually, two men split, split wide right with a man in the slot, Tony Jeffrey, slot back on the right side. A snap to Allen, dropping straight back, looking to pass to the right side. He's got a man open, and it's complete at the 40-yard line of the Citadel. And actually, he's a fill-in. We've heard all week about Tracy Caldwell, one of the leading receivers coming back from last year's team. He's out of this game. He's down on the sidelines with a Razorbacks baseball cap, but Cotton, his replacement, making a big catch for Arkansas. Two men split left, a slot man on the left side. Allen gives it to Jackson, comes to the left side, gets around the corner to the 30, knocked down there. A pursuit by Robbie Briggs, but Jackson just turned on the afterburners and left Briggs behind. Looked like a Dietrich Cummings with a final tackle there on E.D. Jackson. Jackson, a senior, 202 pounds, 5'10". First and 10 from the Bulldog 30. Razorbacks with the ball out of the I formation. A man split wide to the right and a slot back. They give it to Jackson, or excuse me, they give it to Jeffrey. 
up the middle, and he picks tackle LaQuincy Powell, 6'6", 275, with a nice tackle there. Tony Jeffrey, we haven't called his name very much because Jackson has gotten most of the load here in the first half. Wide to the right goes J.J. Metters. Carlton Cabin, the lone runner in the backfield now. Back is Allen to pass, looking to the left. It is incomplete, actually overthrown. 10 seconds. Five. The timeout is over. It's third down and about nine yards to go. Allen sets him down, back to pass, looking to the right, lets it go in the corner. It is incomplete at the seven yard line. But Johnson with a great timing play just reached up and knocked the ball down and are they going for a field goal here? Well, if they do, you might as well count it. Todd Wright has been the most accurate place kicker in Arkansas history and that's who's on the field now and he's a soccer style kicker, but here's, here's the dangerous thing. He's never missed a field goal on this field. That's bad news. Never missed a field goal on this field. They'll put it down at the 35 yard line. It'll be a 45 yard attempt. There's the snap, the kick is up, and it is no good. The string is broken for Todd Wright. He missed him of 17 in field goals right here on this artificial turf. Uh, Ted, one thing I noticed when Arkansas came off the field, a little bit of shoving going on between the two teams. Might be some frustration showing on, on part of the uh, Razorbacks. Bulldogs with the ball, middle of the field. They go with a two tight end formation, a bone in the backfield. Douglas will set him down. Looks over a five-man front. Fakes to the fullback, turns, fakes the pitch, cuts it up, gets to the 35 before he's knocked down. It has one time out left and the clock is running, but they're not going to call it. I think both of these clubs may be content to go into the locker room with a nothing nothing score at halftime. The Citadel again, two tight end formation. Bone in the backfield. Douglas sets him down. Gives to the fullback right up the middle. This time Everett Sands gets close to the 38 yard line. 10. Douglas sets him down, fakes up the middle to, to the fullback, Everett Sands. He gets to the 40-yard line. It's a first down for the Bulldogs, and that'll stop the clock with 11 seconds showing. 11 seconds left, and a first down for the Citadel from the 40-yard line. They'll crank the clock in motion, and this first half will come to an end. Three, two, three. One. So we've played a half here in Fayetteville, Arkansas on this artificial turf at Razorback Stadium. And Sue E. Pig, it's nothing, nothing at halftime. The Citadel in Arkansas, no, neither one have been able to get on the board. So it is halftime, and we'll be back with a halftime talk. Closing the practice to the fans, something that Ken Hatfield did not do, and Lou Holtz, as well as the rumors going around here, I guess, that Barry Switzer is waiting in the wings. If Jack Crow fails this season, Barry Switzer is rumored to be heading to Arkansas to coach that football team. That's what they were most concerned about and not about the Citadel Bulldogs. I think they've changed their minds today. Yeah, I think so. And of course, uh, picking up the morning papers, we saw some very interesting articles finally about this ball game. Well, this is one in one of the local papers and I love this quote. It says, both teams will have a few tricks up their sleeves, but for the most part, it should be a bit like facing Nolan Ryan. You know what's coming most of the time, but can you handle it? And a whole new appreciation for that little military school in South Carolina. Right now, you know, uh, South Carolina getting ready to time uh, on our flagship station, WXLY in Charleston. We're set to go with the second half kickoff. The Bulldogs are receiving the ball. And here comes a high kick that will be fielded at the four by the Bulldogs, Torrance Forney. He's to the 20, 25, to the 30, 35-yard line, and knocked down there, and the Bulldogs start again in great field position. 65 on the special teams, but Torrance Forney, one of the best in the country, returning kick, showing why they're getting out to the 35-yard line. So the Bulldogs held them scoreless in the first half and get their hands on the ball first here in the second half. Damon Boatwright, wide to the left. They will split Marty Fagan wide to the right. Bone in the backfield, ball in the middle of the field. Douglas sets him down. The ball on the 35, fakes to the fullback, pitches deep to Cedric Sims, who gets hit at the 35, spins his way to the right pitch. 
Nice play by number 57, Kevin Kemp, who had a good first half, starting out well here in the second half as well. And to Charlie Tatt's credit, that's the left side of that defensive line that was playing the option so well in the first half, but he goes to it, first play here. Ball on the far side, hash mark. Man split wide to each side. Douglas gives to the fullback, Sims, who hits to the 39-yard line before he's dragged down. For returning this year, so they have some talent on defense, and they certainly do have some speed. All right, it'll be third down for the Citadel. Six yards to go. The ball just shy of the 40-yard line of the Citadel. Boat right, wide left. Caldwell, wide right. They fake to the fullback, back to passes. Douglas looking. He goes in the backfield. It's an incomplete pass to Eric Little. And it remains six yards to go for the Citadel. Little was wide. The blocker out there looked like the center, number 73, Copeland, was out there in front of them, but uh, Little could not handle the pass. And here comes Willingham again for a punt. Arkansas late getting on the field, too. And it will be Orlando Walters back to receive. And a timeout is called by Arkansas. Some confusion on the... Ten. Jeez. There's a high punt that is caught at the 10-yard line by Orlando Warland, who just met him head on. Waters went down to the ground, and another great Ooh. when it happened. All right, Arkansas up to the line. They got a man split wide to the left and wide right. They got a slot on the left side. A lone runner in the backfield in E.D. Jackson. Allen will set him down. Ball on the near side, hash mark. He will fake, no, gives to Jackson. Jackson tries to go left. He is hit head on at the 20-yard line. It'll be a Actually, he lost a couple of yards. Great first play for the defense of the Bulldogs. So it is second down and 12 to go for Arkansas. They'll split a man wide left. Two men come wide to the right. Dickerson, the flanker, on the right side. Again, back to pass is Allen. He looks over in the flats. This time complete to Jackson. Complete at the 20, 25, 30, up to the 35-yard line. Wide open, cut to the inside, and finally Dan Johnson had to bring him down, but certainly a nice play by Arkansas. Some good blocking up front as well. Jackson last year had two catches for a total of 17 yards. That catch gives Arkansas a first down, and they got it at their own 34-yard line. Same formation on this play. Back to pass is Allen. He's looking to the right. He almost has a completion to Tony. Uh, jumped a little bit too early, and when he was coming back down, the ball touched his fingertips and knocked down, but Dan Johnson was there. Good coverage by the Bulldogs as well, and almost intercepted the ball. All right, the ball on the Arkansas 34. It's second down, 10 to go. Two men wide left, man in the slot on the left. Jackson, the lone runner in the backfield. Allen sets him down, gives it to Jackson. He gets away from one tackler up to the 40, 45, 46-yard line, and the Citadel watch for Browning, who comes into the game now to play tight end. Out goes the slot back, Tony Jeffrey. I'm surprised that Arkansas hasn't thrown the ball more in the ball game. It looks like that might be the strategy here in the second half. A man split wide to each side. Lone runner in the backfield, Jackson. Allen sets him down, midfield. Gets the ball, gives it to Jackson, comes to the right, to the 45, to the 50, stumbles and falls at the 48 of the Citadel. Big boys, that is for sure. Davis alone, offensive guard, 292. Again, Arkansas up to the ball, a man split wide to each side, tight end on the right side, ball on the near side, hash mark. Allen drops back, gives it to Jackson, cuts to the right side, gets hit as he gets to the 43-yard line. Hit by the 40. Call it the 43-yard line. 43-yard line of the Citadel is where Arkansas has the ball. A man split wide each side. In the slot is Jeffrey on the right. Back to pass is Allen. Looking, looking, complete. Over the right side to Tony Jeffrey at the 35-yard line. Allen, who has been a winner as a quarterback, 4-1 last year before being injured, is leading his troops down the field now. And they'll break the huddle. It's second down and a yard to go for Arkansas. Arkansas moving the ball better than they have in the entire first half. They set him down, a man split wide each side. Fake to Jackson, heavy pressure, quarterback sack. No, he gets rid of the ball, he throws it away to no one. And I know the Citadel would like to see intention. And Allen's face, and 
Hey, give the uh, guy credit, Allen, that is. He made a nice play to throw the ball away. There were some receivers about within six or seven yards of the pass. Allen, of course, just a sophomore. He'll bring him up. They got an eye formation. Sets him down on the near side hash mark. Gives it to Jackson deep in the eye. He's met head on, and he's grinding the yards out, but he's finally pulled down by look like the uh, third quarter. First quarter, of course, was scoreless. Arkansas will send two men to the left. A man in the slot on the left. Jackson, the lone runner in the backfield. Ball on the near side, hash mark. Allen sets him down, looking. Drops back to pass. He's got pressure. He's sacked. What a blitz from the right side of the defensive line. Ball. Second down and uh, about 18 yards to go. The ball on the Citadel 40-yard line. A man split wide each side. Slot back on the right side. Jackson, the lone runner in the backfield. Back to pass is Allen. Looking over the middle, overthrown, almost intercepted by the Citadel. Speezy ball, so he's moved from the other side of the ball into the defensive backfield, and that was one area of concern going into the season. But I'll tell you what, all the guys back there have played a lot. They lost three starters. They've got Lester Smith back. Eight minutes, 16 seconds remaining in the third period of play. No score. They've got a man split wide each side. They've got Jackson lined up right next to Allen. Watch for Allen to throw. He's going to get sacked from behind by the Citadel Bulldogs. In on that play was Judson Bomer. He's coming off the field, really holding prayer meeting with half of those kids. And so the punter, Pete Rather, in to punt again for Arkansas. Lester Smith standing at the Citadel 10-yard line. There's a good snap and a high punt. Smith will let the ball hit at the 20. It takes a Citadel bounce to the 35. 40, 45, 46-yard line where it's finally down by Arkansas. The ball hit at the 20 of the Citadel and rolled guards behind the original line of scrimmage. So that ball bounced about 30. Sidelines are going crazy. Citadel up to the line. They've got a man split wide each side. Ball on the far side hash mark. They fake to the fullback. Back to pass is Douglas looking long over the middle. He's got a man down the sidelines wide open who just purely runs out of bounds and is on state 24-10. It was Ohio State eking by Louisville, 20 to 19. And in the third period, Colorado leads Colorado State, 24-10. Up to the line, Bulldogs with the ball, second and 10. A man split wide each side, ball on the far side, hash mark. David, again, they'll fake up the middle, pitch it to Little. Little gets a block on the outside, crosses midfield to the Arkansas 48-yard line. Kevin Kidd, who's back in Charleston, holding down the fort there while Art Chase and Josh Baker are out here on the trip. Also to Carolyn Hughes, who's at home recovering. Carolyn, hope you're feeling better, and we know that you're hating it that you're not here. Bulldogs up to the line, third down, five yards to go. Ball on the near side, hash mark, Douglas fakes, wants to pass, has protection, lets it go, complete to Caldwell at the 39-yard line, and it is a first down for the center on the Raider punt. Watching Jack Douglas throw the ball today in the uh, first half, of course, we saw that uh, Douglas was three of three for 28 yards, beginning to look very confident at doing that. Boat right, wide to the right. He got Caldwell wide left. Ball on the near side hash mark. Douglas fakes to the fullback, rolls to the right side, pitches it at the last minute to Terrence Rivers. Rivers gets back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Number 16, Ireland. Ireland last year started every game but one. He's their second leading tackler. In fact, he's got a touchdown to his credit from last year. All right, it's second and 10 to go. Caldwell wide to the left. Got a tight end on the right side. Ball on the far side, hash mark. Douglas fakes. No, he does. He gives it up the middle to Little, who gets about a yard or maybe. Obviously, the Arkansas Razorbacks fans wants the want the defense to hold, and that time they did. Third down, nine yards to go for the Citadel. The ball on the Arkansas 38-yard line. The Citadel going from right to left. Ball on the far side, hash mark. Caldwell wide to the left. Ball on the far side, hash mark. Douglas sets him down. Fakes to the fullback, pitches it at the last minute. Dunder Mitchum, it cuts up behind a block. He's at the 30, across the 30, into Arkansas territory, even to try. Inside the Arkansas 28 yard line is where the ball sits. Out goes Caldwell, in comes Boatwright. He'll line up wide on the right side. Tight end, Marty Fagan on the left side. Ball on the near side, hash mark. Douglas will set him down. He's looking at a gap for defense. He keeps up the middle, quarterback keep. Picks up about four yards on the play. 
270, a senior, his center, and a nice play by Brett. Good blocking as Jack just followed right behind him, brought down by Tyrone Chapman, the strong side linebacker. And once again, we've talked about this before, but the Razorback fans are shell-shocked. Out wide right goes the split end, Damon Boatwright. Tight end, Barney Fagan on the left side. Ball on the near side, hash mark. They're looking at a five-man front. Douglas fakes, pitches it to Little, who fumbles the ball right into the hands of Arkansas. The pitch was all takes over on their own 24-yard line. Kevin Kemp, number 50, see AstroTurf. But then once again, he let it go, and Kevin Kemp there with the recovery, and a tough break for the Bulldogs as they were certainly driving the football. All right, so Arkansas takes over. Deep in their own territory on their own 24. Let's see if this dog defense can come up with a big one here. Got two men wide to the left. They'll pitch it to Jackson on a reverse. They give it over to Dickerson, comes around the right side. Bulldog defense smells it out on a two-yard gain. Maybe tackle. They really smashed helmets on that tackle. You know, it's interesting. The Arkansas, of course, brought in a new offensive coordinator. And uh, you have to try to find out something about the personality of those coaches so you can know how to prepare for a game like this. Slot back on the right side. They give it to Jackson deep in the backfield. He's at the 30, 35, up to the 40-yard line before he's brought down by the Bulldogs secondary. They're on 24-yard line, and they're up to the 39. First and 10 for Arkansas. A man split wide each side, slot back on the right. Jackson, the lone runner in the backfield. Allen sets him down, gives it to Jackson. Cuts left, cuts right, finds a hole. He's at midfield. He's in the Bulldog territory to the 42-yard line. Another first down for Arkansas. Back in the de uh, defensive backfield so often certainly is not what Lester wants. J.J. Metters wide to the left. Richard Yeager, wide right, slot back on the right side. Jackson, the lone runner in the backfield, and they'll give it to him. Comes to the left side, he's got a big hole. I could run through it. They get to the 35, down to the 30-yard line. Another first down. And the crowd will give him a hand. They certainly are respecting this Citadel defense who has held Arkansas scoreless till this point. A minute 44 remaining in the third period of play, and this is a scoreless ball game. Jackson being iced down on the sidelines. It's hot down there, folks. Those clouds have gone away. It's about 80-something degrees out here. It was 80, I believe, 84 at uh, game time, right. which meant it was closer to 94 or 100 degrees down on this artificial turf. Wide left goes Metters. Wide right comes Jaeger. In the backfield, Carlton Cabin, the lone runner. Allen will set him down on the near side hash mark, gives it to Carlton Cabin. He starts left, breaks right, gets to the 20. And he is tripped up from behind there as he gets inside. Another first down for Arkansas, and we're at a minute 15 left to go here in the third quarter. Arkansas is threatening. A man split wide to each side. Again, Carlton, the, the uh, Carlton Calvin, the backfield. They give it to him. He's hit in the backfield. Falls forward close to the line of scrimmage. Nice play. We're in the third period, and Arkansas is moving the ball. It's on the Citadel 16-yard line. They'll split a man wide left and wide right. Jackson back in the game in the backfield. They'll give it to him. He cuts up the middle, and he's hit after about a yard or two game. Middle of a pile, and they mark his knee down at the 14-yard line. So it's third down and seven yards to go. Looking to the sidelines, trying to get the play, and the quarter will come to an end. So we've played three quarters. There's no score. We'll go to the fourth. And final quarter as we go to our net. How much? Five. Arkansas up to the line. Allen back to pass. Complete over the middle to Jeffrey at the 10. He fights his way down to the seven. Fourth down. It is. They're about a yard or a half a yard short, Rob, from where I see the ball marked and from where the... Uh, First down marker is, the first down marker is on the seven. The ball is just over the stripe at the eight. So they've got to go about the length of the football to get this first down. But instead, they'll try a field goal. Wright has missed one already. This one will be a 25-yarder. There's the kick. It is up, and it is good. So in the early moments of the fourth quarter, some re the Citadel, nothing. Back after this on the Citadel Sports Network. Jack Crow going for that field goal. I think they really wanted the touchdown to maybe put a uh, nail in the uh, Citadel Bulldogs, but it did not happen. They got three, though. 
Here's the kickoff. It is a high end over end kick that will be fielded about three yards deep in the end zone and they'll try to run it out. Here comes Cummings. He gets to the five, six yard line and when you snooze, you lose. He started not to come out there and looked like uh, Diedrich didn't know what he wanted to do with the football as you certainly called it and now the Bulldogs win a big deep hole. Not much communication on that special teams unit. I'm sure they'll work on that this week. So the Citadel, not great field position, but they've been there before today. They've got it on their own six yard line. Two tight end formation, ball on the far side, hash mark. Bone in the backfield. Douglas will set him down. Gets a snap, fakes to the fullback, rolls to the left, wants to pitch, can't. And being ridden out of bounds there by Henry Ford. Did up a lot of room and there wasn't much for Jack to go with on that particular play. And so it will be second down and about eight yards to go. A pickup of two on the play. Boatwright, Damon Boatwright wide to the right. A tight end on the left side, Marty Fagan. Bone in the backfield, ball on the far side, hash mark Douglas back to pass, looking over the middle, complete at the 30 yard line of Marty Fagan. And the Citadel out of that hole for the Bulldogs. He was a tight end on the left side, came right down the far side, hash marks, dove to catch the ball. And it's a first down for the Citadel. Out wide right comes Caldwell, tight end on the left side. Citadel with the ball on the far side, hash mark. They've got a blitz on. They give it to the fullback, Everett Sands. Sands jumps across the 30, 35. 12, 44 on the clock. Dogs down by three. Ball on the far side, hash mark. Boat right, wide to the right. They'll pitch it this time to Andre Mitchum. He's got a block, but then it falls apart. He gets back to the line of scrimmage where he's... Jack Douglas looking to the sideline to get the play. Bringing it in is Eric Little. Little will come in, Andre Mitchum will go out. We said earlier in the ball game, Little playing despite the tragedy that happened to his family. His half sister was buried on Thursday and Eric was there at the funeral, but then left with the team on Friday. They fake to the fullback. Douglas rolls to his left, cuts back up, picks up about two yards on the play. Eight yards to go with 11.35 remaining here in the fourth quarter. Arkansas leading three nothing. No, there's nothing wrong with your radio. The score is 3-0. A lot of people thought it might be a route. Damon Boatwright, wide to the right. In the slot on the right will be Cedric Sims. Two men in the backfield. Douglas, back to pass, rolling to the right. He's going to run. He's going to get hit from behind, and he's knocked down at the line of scrimmage. A lost field, but Everett Sands was being, trying to hold his block and actually knocked Jack down as well. Secondary of Arkansas doing a great job of uh, covering the receivers. So Orlando Waters back to receive the punt on the Arkansas 24. Willingham gets a good snap, gets a good punt. Waters will run up to the 30-yard line. No, it is caught there instead by Dean Peavy, and Peavy is knocked down at the third. Been, but Peavy actually made a, a mistake there. He fielded the ball. Waters was waiting for play from their own 31-yard line with 10-34 remaining. Arkansas in the lead by a score of three to nothing. They'll split a man wide to each side. Lone runner in the backfield is Jackson. And they will give it to him. Up the middle he goes. He's across the 35 to the 36, 37 yard line before he's rolled down. Number 100 yards so far, at least going into the fourth quarter, he had 148 yards rushing. Second down, four yards to go. Ball on the Arkansas 37. A man split wide each side. Slot back on the right with Cabin there. They've got Jackson in the backfield. They'll give it to him. He's up the middle, fumbles the ball. It's on the turf. Bulldogs come up with it. They can advance it. The Citadel is going to score a touchdown. Bulldogs score a touchdown as they return a fumble. Judson Bomer hit, separated from the ball. Bowman picked it up and rambled into the end zone. Bulldogs six, Arkansas three. It was in 1991 against Wofford when Everett Sands recovered a Jack Douglas fumble and ran it into the end zone. Trin will try the extra point. There's a snap, it's down, the kick is up, and it is good! So with 9.47 remaining on the clock, the Citadel seven, Arkansas three, back after this on the Citadel Sports Network. Well, it looked like number 46, Garrett Sizer, who kind of slashed across. Edie Jackson has been very dangerous, and he knocked the ball loose, bounced right up into Judson Bomer's hands, and there he was for the touchdown. Bomer, who could be timed by a sundial, raced into the end zone. 
There's a high kick that will be fielded at the 30 yard line, falling forward to the 32. Arkansas will put in nine minutes, 45 seconds left to go. The Citadel leading Arkansas seven to three. What a turnaround. And I remember uh, this past week on Wednesday, Coach Taft was a speaker at uh, the Mount Pleasant Rotary Club, of which I'm a member, and he talked about that new rule, and here it comes into play. Bulldogs lead seven three. All right, up to the ball is Arkansas. They got a man split wide to each side. Jackson in the backfield. Allen sets him down. Looks, turns, I think it's a busted play, but he's gonna try to turn it upfield. He does get across the 35, 36. It gained something out of it. Got about five yards or so. During the timeout after the score, prior to the kickoff, the Arkansas band was playing the 2001 Space Odyssey song, and one that, of course, we're very accustomed to hearing up at williams Bryce Stadium. Allen sets him down. Gives it to Jackson deep in the backfield. He cracks up the middle. He gets to the 40-yard line where he's brought down. In there after an early injury, making the tackle. Well, a tremendous hit by the Bulldog defense, and that gave him the opportunity to pick up the loose ball and advance it. Wide right goes Dickerson. They got a tight end on the left side. They'll come to the left with a pitch to this time to Jackson. He comes left, gets across into Bulldog territory as he gets to about midfield. Through a couple of linebackers for the Citadel, Mike Weidman finally with the final tackle. Eight minutes, 22 seconds left to go in the first fourth period. The Citadel leading seven to three. A man split wide each side. They got a slot back on the left. Jackson in the backfield. Allen sets him down, back to pass. Looking, has pressure, lets it go. Incomplete new, intercepted by the Citadel. Picking it off at Dietrich Cummings. Cummings down the near sideline, to the 45, to the 40. Dietrich Cummings right there to pick it off, and he ran down the sidelines. Oh, so far here today. So the Citadel doing well. In fact, the last time that the defense scored a touchdown was back in 1984 when Richard Brock returned a 22-yard interception for a touchdown against Marshall. They ball, they give it off this time, up the left side, Jack Douglas hangs on to it, on the fake. There was a hole that opened up, finally brought down by number 47, Tyrone Chapman, and I'll tell you what, the band is trying to get the Arkansas Razorbacks fans pumped up here. Tight end on the right side, wide man on the left, ball on the near side, hash mark, Douglas sets him down, gives it to Little, he or checked that Sims, Sims goes to the right side start. And now he's showing what he's worth, and that was one question mark going into this football season. I think we've had that question answered today. Second down and seven yards to go. The ball is on the Arkansas 23-yard line with seven minutes remaining in the ball game. The Citadel leading seven to three. Caldwell wide to the left. Tight end on the right side, Marty Fagan. Ball on the near side, hash mark. Douglas will hand it off up the middle to Little, and we've got flags down and Little's down as well. Number 80, Scott Long, 6'3", 258 with a tackle. Looked like the right side of the Bulldog line moved just a little bit early, and they may move them back five yards here. And so the Citadel is penalized for illegal procedure against the Bulldogs. They'll mark a permission ticket to the next Citadel home game, and that's coming up a week from today as the Bulldogs are, will be at home at Johnson Haygood Stadium for the home opener against the Wofford Terriers. Boat ride into the game. He'll go wide left. You got a tight end on the left side. Ball on the near side, hash mark, bone in the backfield. Douglas sets him down, comes to the right side, hangs onto it, gets hit, and gets driven out of bounds at the 30-yard line. So 10 left, and that's what the wishbone is supposed to do, run that clock down. Credit has to go to the defensive coaches and the defensive unit for Arkansas, who really have played this option very, very well. Their defensive ends have played superb. Boat right, wide to the left. In the slot on the left is Cedric Sims. Caldwell, wide right. Two men in the backfield. They fake to Andre Mitchum. No, they give it to Mitchum. Mitchum gets to the 25, to the 20, rolled down at the 15-yard line. It could be a first down for the Hudson Bomer that was forced by Garrett Sizer. And now the Bulldogs are driving, and they're really trying to at least get another touchdown, maybe put this game out of reach. All right, so the Bulldogs up to the line. They fake, it's a misdirection. Douglas is gonna get trapped in the backfield. Everybody was going every which own. The defense for Arkansas was right there. So the Bulldogs are going backwards fast. Well, you've gotta wonder what kind of a feeling that is for Jack when he, no one's around him except for number 99, Rayleigh Johnson, who's 6'3", 217. But Jack did the right thing, kind of fell on the football, and they'll start it now. It is second down and 12 yards to go for the Citadel. 
Jack up over the ball. Fakes to Little, cuts up behind a block. He's at the 15, bounces forward to about the 12. Not much more than that, but it'll be third down and seven yards to go. They picked up actually about five on the play. Caldwell wide right, tight end on the right side. Bone in the backfield, ball on the far side, hash mark. They give up the middle to the fullback, Everett Sands. Sands gets across the Arkansas close quickly and stop the attempt at the first down. And here comes Jeff Trent, number four, once again. All right, so Trent missed one field goal at the, the same end of the field earlier in the first half. But this one, he'll be quick kicking straight on. Out of the hold of Spezio Stowers. There's the snap, it's down, here's the kick, it's up and it is good! So with three minutes and 28 seconds, Citadel Sports Network. Malone and Dickerson are back to receive the kickoff as the Citadel leads 10-3. There's a bouncer on the ground that will be fielded at the 25 by the up man to the 30. To the 35, runs into his own mound, bounces outside, but he won't get anywhere as he'll be knocked down at the 35-yard line by about four Citadel open. Up to the ball, Arkansas will come. They've got it in the middle of the field at their own 35-yard line. Boy, what a big test early for this Citadel defensive unit. They've got two men split wide right, a man split wide left. The lone runner is Jackson in the backfield, back to pass is Allen. He'll hit Jackson in the backfield at the 30 to the 35 to the 40. He's got a blocker. He'll get knocked out of bounds at the far sideline of the 46. Stops the clock. The Citadel has got to keep that clock running to try to control this ball game. The ball is on the Arkansas 47-yard line. They've got a man split wide each side, man in the slot on the right. Ball on the far side, hash mark. Allen back to pass, looks to the right, complete. It's complete at the 45 of the Citadel and knocked down. He can really move the chains. A man split wide each side, slot back on the right. They'll give it this time to Jackson. He's hit immediately as he gets to the 40-yard line. He picked up about two. He picked up the thing up, any. The Citadel leads at 10 to three. That's right, the Citadel leads at 10 to three, ladies and gentlemen. Nothing wrong with your radio. Arkansas is a little surprised too. They got a slot back on the right. Back to pass is Allen. He goes to the right side, complete to Tony Jeffrey on the far sideline. He steps out of bounds just off. Second and inches, the ball is just shy of the 32 yard line. Again, a man split wide each side, a slot back on the right. Jackson alone running back in the backfield, he'll give it to him. Up the middle, he is hit immediately by the Citadel Bulldogs, Micah Young. And they are indicating that it is fourth down now. Fourth down and inches. Fourth down and inches. It was, I thought it was third down. The indicator hadn't been changed. So now it's fourth and inches. Boy, what a big test for the Bulldogs. Tight end formation by Arkansas. Three backs in the backfield. They'll give it to Jackson. He's got the first and then some as he gets to the 31 yard line. 54 as they move the chains. Now they'll crank the clock. It's running. We're under two minutes left to go. The Citadel leads 10 to three, but will it hold? Two men split wide to the left, a man in the slot on the left, ball on the far side hash mark. Allen back to pass, looking to the left. He short hops it to Ron Dickerson at the, no, they say incomplete. He short hopped it, I thought he did. Finally, the official indicated that it was a no good pass. All by the official, and so the Citadel holds and takes over, no, I'm sorry. It is a second down and 10 to go now. As Arkansas got the first, it's second and 10. Back to pass is Allen, looking to the left. He's hit, the ball's loose, the Citadel picks it up, and they say no, his arm was going forward. 90 seconds, 90 seconds separates the Citadel from an upset victory over one of the newest entries into the SEC. It's third and 10. They got a man split wide each side, a slot back on the right. Jackson, the lone runner in the back, back to pass is Allen, looking to the right. He lets it go. It's complete at the 26 yard line. They keep him in bounds. The clock. Okay, 15. Right, 15. 10 seconds, Ted. 10 seconds. A 
minute 21 remaining in the game. The ball is on the Citadel 27-yard line, Arkansas. Faced with a fourth down and six yards to go. A man in a slot on the left, two men split wide left. Allen, back to pass, looking, looking. He's hit, lets the ball go, deep into the end zone, incomplete. The Citadel takes over. First and... did prior to two years ago when they played at South Carolina. These guys were very confident and very sure that they could come up here and play a good football game, and they have. Ball on the far side hash mark. Douglas gives it straight up the middle to Mr. Dependable, Everett Sands, who grinds out about four yards. Okay, right. so we need to make up a minute. All right, how somewhere. much time left? Give me a cue on a minute so I can start my clock. Okay, we call it 45, good. Right, well, we just ran a play, so. Uh-oh. <laughs> 45 now, okay. I'd say it's more like 40. All right. If you want to come back at 40. Well, I'd like to, because the clock's running, it's at 43. Yeah, uh -huh. Sam, get back to us as soon as you can, okay? We're trying to get in these last plays. Don't worry about the crowd sound. How much time now? How much time, Sam? Sam? How much time? Hello? Citadel Bulldogs have run two plays and eaten up some of the clock. 14, well, check that, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. It's over, and the Citadel has beaten the newest entry into the Southeastern Conference by a score of 10 to 3. The Citadel has beaten Arkansas 10 to 3. The defense, people worried about it. It played phenomenal out here today. Jack Crow, Charlie Taft meeting at midfield, talking. Charlie walking off the field, hugging a lot of the players and the coaches. Both teams meeting in the center of the field, hugging each other, shaking hands, telling each other it was a good game. And it was a great one. It was a dandy one if you're a Bulldog fan. Not so good for the stunned 34,000 Razorback fans that are started heading for the exits with about a minute six left. There goes the team, reminiscent of the South Carolina game. They're going over to the sidelines to thank the crowd that came out to see them play. Many on the charter who flew in here today, or in here yesterday, I should say, and they're over there high-fiving and greeting the crowd on the far sidelines. And ladies and gentlemen, it'll be a happy flight home. It should be about a 10.30 arrival time at Charleston. And if you can, we'd love to see you out at the airport to greet the 1992 edition of the Citadel Bulldogs, who have just beaten Arkansas by a score of 10 to 3. We'll be back with more in our post-game show, and Rob Fowler will talk live with Charlie Taft, and I know he'll be happy but tired. We'll do that when we come back after this on the Citadel Sports Network. All right. It's on, Ted. I don't see a signal from him yet. All right. Okay, just tell me when it's 30 seconds, okay? Real loud so we...